Uh, this client is a US-based news reporting giant who came up with a noble idea of social news reporting. Uh, this solution had a multi-technology platform, so it needed sound domain expertise and quality testing. In addition to this, there were several other challenges faced by the client that actually led to a testing and a quality partner. If you look at the uh, key challenges faced by the client, the first one you know, is the same that I just now talked about, which is multi-technology platform and its testing that needed you know, uh, domain expertise, technical expertise, and uh, testing expertise. Second challenge was fluid requirement. Third one was exhaustive testing scope, which is covering both functional and non-functional aspect of the product. Uh, that also included API testing, web services testing, testing on the various devices. Uh, fourth one was the dynamic nature of the product releases. Uh, fifth one was bringing the end user perspective uh, to testing so that eventually customer gets what they were looking for. Uh, we at Crestec understood these challenges quickly and came out with a three point strategy. First one was a setup, second one was the execution and third one was a guided production. In setup, uh, we initially built up a team of uh, domain expertise, uh, domain experts and uh, test analysts who went through this knowledge transfer process and later established a knowledge management framework uh, to ensure that not only progressively we learn the domain but we also retain, retain it by creating uh, KT videos, KT documents, etc. We uh, also set up a viable uh, test process framework uh, which was good enough to ensure the QA coverage of the product quality. Uh, we uh, broke down this team into core and a flexible team uh, to support the dynamic nature of the product releases. Second strategy was execution uh, in which we uh, worked with a business team and to understand the requirement and we also performed the requirement ambiguity testing to have clear, uh, complete and uh, testable requirement. After that we defined a test strategy based on the end user segmentation and continuously evolved it based on their feedback as well. That actually needed us you know, to execute this product in the agile mode. We also took help of the domain expertise, domain experts uh, to contribute into the test strategy so that we can provide 100% test coverage. For example, we had a, you know, support from a CDN experts who guided us how to test various routes to hit the servers. We had a automation experts who uh, drafted uh, SOAP UI, uh, cloud-based SOAP UI automation framework. We had a non-functional test specialist who performed cloud-based performance, stress, load, followed by the penetration testing. We have been testing this product from last one year and in, in Scrum with 15 days sprint cycle and this product is now at the verge of a worldwide launch. The third strategy was the guided production in which you know apart from uh, beta 1 and beta 2 phases we also had a pre-selected audience who uh, tested this product and shared the uh, end user experience. This actually enabled us to have a guided product which was very close to the, what you know the customer was looking for. Now, now, if you look at the benefits that were passed on to the customer, the first one was, you know, partnering uh, with the client beyond testing issue. That actually helped uh, to improve the quality across all the phases of the SDLC. Uh, second one was uh, reduce test cycle time uh, with the help of a, a customized regression automation suites, uh, a business continuity for the client and cost optimization by dynamically ramping up and ramping down the team, cross-platform testing, you know, across uh, 50 odd devices. Uh, in fact, uh, during end user testing, the defect leakage was less than 1%, and if you look at the schedule variances, which was less than 2%.